members of the Consul and Hubbles of West Australia present here today. Welcome. It is a great honour to welcome you all to this event organised by the Embassy of Romania for the official appointment of the first Honorary Consul of Romania in West Australia, Mr. Luca Alexa. The Duxon Hotel is proud to be part of such an important event and to support our team member Luca in a consular capacity. I would like to now kindly ask the Honourable Paul Pialli to pose a toast which will be followed by the Romanian National Anthem. President and the people of Romania. President and the people of
consuls, honorary consuls from Austria, Azerbaijan, Bangladesh, Belarus, Belgium, Botswana, Brazil, Canada, Chile, China, Colombia, Croatia, Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Ghana, Greece, Hungary, India, Indonesia, Ireland, Italy, Japan, Kazakhstan, Kenya, Korea, Laos, Latvia, Macedonia, Malaysia, Malta, Mauritius, Mongolia, Nepal, the Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, Pakistan, Peru, Poland. I don't know if Portugal, it's in red line. <laughs> Send my best regards to him. <laughs> Uh, Slovak Republic, South Africa, Spain, Sri Lanka, Sweden, Switzerland, Tanzania, Thailand, Timor Leste, Uganda, Uruguay, and Vietnam. Hey. Thank you all of you for being here with us. Thank you. And United States. <laughs> for me, uh, far away. So, beloved Romanians from Western Australia, friends of Romania, I would like to thank you all for joining me and my spouse, Dan Barbulescu, for marking the establishment of the very first Romanian Honorary Consulate in Western Australia. Fiți bineveniți la evenimentul de marcare a înființării primului consulat onorific al României în Australia de Vest și vă mulțumesc pentru bucuria de a fi împreună astăzi. Before I will handle the exequator to our very first honorary consul here in Western Australia, so in other words, the proof that she was appointed honorary consul, I would like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Madame Raluca Alexa, but also of her family, uh, her dear husband, Mr. Radu Alexa, uh, her beloved mother, uh, children, and uh, uh, her entire family and friends among us. Um, first of all, I would like to say some, some things. Uh, I didn't check with you, should I say the name of the, the year when you were born? <laughs> okay. Because we, we, we are very sensitive. We know to acknowledge our birthday, but not the year. So, if you want to become instant American enemy of any lady, just, just share the year. And, well, I'm so beautiful. I know, she's smart too, but whatever. <laughs> so, Madame Raluca Mariwara Alexa, Romanian and Australian citizen, was born in Romania last century. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's worse. All of us have except for children. And graduated faculty of mathematics in Yash and Romanian Academy for Economic Studies in Bucharest, but apparently that wasn't enough. <laughs> so she's still learning as MBA at University of Western Australia. In parallel, because you have to have a job, you know. um, she's, uh, she started a marvelous career and she's financial director at uh, Hotel Duxton. She's married and has children, uh, so apparently she found somewhere on her life journey the happiness received. So before I will kindly ask you to share with us what is this receipt, I would like to, to read this exequatus. Of course, for Diplomatic mafia, allow me, Mr. Minister. <laughs> these, these are very regular, you know, pieces of papers, like our decree where we, when we become investors and things like that. But for general public, I think the content of any exequatur is quite interesting and uh, informative. So bear with me. The first, actually, there are two exequaturs because there are two countries involved in this very interesting function. The first came from Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade in Canberra, remote in the place, uh, present its compliment to the Embassy of Romania in Canberra and has the honor to refer to no the nomination of a head of a consular post in accordance with Article 11 of the Vienna Convention on Consular Relations. In accordance with Article 12 of the Oboro Convention, Mrs. Raluca Mariola Alexa is by this exequator admitted to the exercise of her functions as Honorary Consul for Romania in Perth with jurisdiction throughout Western Australia. Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade avails itself of this opportunity to renew to the Embassy of Romania in Canberra the assurances of its highest consideration. It's done in Canberra on March 3rd this year and signed by Chief of Protocol indistinctly, but I met her lovely Australian ambassador, Madame Lindal Sass. So this is one of the proof of your work. 
too many to say the number, who lets me be myself, who, who, who puts up with my early mornings and late nights, who supports me and encourages me, no matter what else I dare to think of or choose to do. I remember a few years ago, after our daughter was born here in Australia, I decided to start my post-graduate MBA at UWA. <laughs> My mother saw the paperwork on the kitchen bench and um, asked my husband, what is that for? He had a look without being aware of what's in that paperwork. And he said, oh, it seems Raluca wants another degree. It's okay. She needs a degree for each of her children. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to my children who make me forget all my problems the moment I step in the house. To my two teenage boys, almost grown-ups, Radu Jr. and Razan, who don't give me too much trouble and are probably very happy I don't have time to bother them too much. <laughs> <laughs> to my baby girl, Rihanna, who loves me to bits and doesn't complain when she goes to sleep and I'm not there. You are beautiful, and I'm grateful to have you. Thank you, Mom, not only for bringing me into this world, but for being such an important part of our family, for looking after my children when I'm not there, for being patient and caring, and especially for being so understanding. Thank you to those in this room who have put a very good word for me to Her Excellency, no. and convinced her <laughs> that I'm the right person for the job. Ilana, Tina, Scott, Billy, Father Doru, Father Peter, Mark, Alex, and forgive me if I forgot any of you. Thank you to my colleagues in the Consular Corps who have so warmly welcomed me in their work. Thank you to those who made this event happen. Deb, who is with us tonight, and she kindly mixed up the Australian anthem. It's okay, we make it. Which made the evening even more challenging. <laughs> um, and all the other members of the team who hardly work behind the scenes for us to enjoy a flawless event. Oh, and I almost forgot. Thank you to my sister, Iwana, who is a pastry chef and not only fed me through all my years in school, but successfully contributed to how beautiful I look tonight. <laughs> possibilities, promotion of economic, cultural, academic or touristic exchanges are few of them. The establishment of a honorary consulate in Perth reflects Romania's desire to enhance its relationship with Western Australia, especially in the economic and commercial spheres. In the current economic environment, we need to strengthen our economic diplomacy. We should do so by intensifying cooperation between government and businesses, and by intensifying business-to-business -business contacts. In this way, we can protect our interests and conquer new markets. The economy of the world will triple in the years to come. So the future is one of the big challenges, but also one of the big opportunities. It is just a little bit further away than we were used to. International trade is not a zero-sum game. On the contrary, economic growth is a win-win affair. Catch it and you'll pass it on. This is where honorary consuls have an important role to play. They will help, help catch the growth. Ladies and gentlemen, we still have a world to conquer, and the economic diplomacy pays it off. Thank you.